Hi, my name is Mary Kay Worth, and this is entry 25 of my mother's journal, The Story of My Life. This is just one of her journals. I did bring an object lesson with me today. I brought salt. Many people put salt on their food before they even taste it. It's supposed to enhance the taste, but sometimes it's already salty. I wonder how much that is like life. It's already salty because we really haven't even tasted it. Let's read from Mama's journal. This one doesn't have a prompt. I don't want to go to Jamestown. You're my doctor. I told Dr. Godfrey, if you won't do it, if you won't test me for HIV, I'll get a megaphone and go down by the bank and tell everyone that Olean is behind the times as far as HIV goes. Dr. Godfrey said, you don't have to do that. I'll do it for you. I'll be ready in a week. Wait a minute. I left an important part out. I'm forgetting sometimes. I am 86. The junior and the seniors were having a contest to see who could get the most teachers to give blood to come to the American Red Cross. My seniors came to get me. I told them I couldn't go because I have an idea. Actually, I have iron poor tired blood. The two senior boys picked me up and said, please, Mrs. Worth. They put me down and I went and gave blood. Little did I know that I would be HIV positive. There are three ways that you can become positive. Sexual transmission, blood to blood, or being stabbed with a needle that was in an HIV patient. When I first went to Dr. Godfrey, he asked me if I'd been sexually active with someone besides my husband. I told him no. He said Jim would have to be tested. I said, okay. Jim went to be tested. He came back negative. Dr. Asked, Godfrey asked me when I last had given blood. I told him in 1985, actually it was 81, when I had my hysterectomy. He said that was seven years ago. You couldn't have stayed well that long. To be continued. How do we spice up our life? HIV and AIDS came to our house. It got sprinkled. Have a great day. Tell people you love them.